Ah, I think we have a newfound problem. No, nope, I don't love it, I don't like it, but I think I'm going to get used to it. Hello, this is me, Daniel East 1000, back again with another Star Wars The Black Series figure review. Today we're going to be having a look at Bib Fortuna. First, as always, we're going to take a look at the packaging then the figure itself. As always, you've got that standard sort of packaging we've come to know and love now with the beveled edge. Star Wars The Black Series at the top, window packaging where the figure would sit so you can have a good look at that. Name of the media that the character is from, as well as that colour banding, character name, bit of legalese at the bottom. On the side you've got a lovely picture of the character just there and if you buy the other figures naturally you can line them up and create a nice picture. On the other side, Star Wars Black Series, that colour band going all the way around to the back. Picture of the character again, Star Wars Black Series, bio on the character, will be in the description down below if you want to read that. Number of the character and a ton of legal McGuff at the bottom and at the bottom there and at the top you've got that window to let the light in so you can see your figure in the packaging. And that's the packaging out of the way and done with and onto the figure itself and this shall be rather swift to be quite honest with you just because I don't really have a hell of a lot to say about it. I find it to be quite an annoying figgy particularly at what it could have been and I don't like moaning all the time about Hasbro <sighs> But this is another example. This is another example to the many things Hasbro just can't seem to quite get right. Let's just have a look at this guy. Face sculpt. Oh, lovely. Absolutely grand. I'm loving the blue shades and the highlights. Um, even some of the blue texture they've put on the Leku. Of which these long appendages going around. The eyes look really deep and sinister. And... He looks like Bib Fortuna, and that's, that's what you want. You want him looking creepy. One big problem I have with it is this plastic traffic cone that he is wearing. Why couldn't it have been soft goods? I don't know. Probably to save costs, but Vintage Collection gets a soft goods robe. Why can't this one? And some postcard guys. Look at that. You can't repose this guy too much, particularly in the leg area. Not that you're really going to pose this guy too much anyway, because he's not very dynamic character particularly he's not in very action poses but it would have been nice just to have some more posability particularly in the legs how it looks in plastic it's fine but just soft goods is always the way forward we just continue on down you've got his hands there it's a very sinister little poses these bracelets you've got that undersuit there I like that armour piece on the front and then the skirt. Legs at the bottom of which are reuse from Dryden Voss. Just recoloured to be blue rather than black. Not too much really going on the back there. The only accessories that you get with him are free glasses of which were included in the Hasbro Pulse Cantina set. Link up there somewhere to watch my review on that if you do want to check that out. These are free individual pieces and um, the nothing to really particularly ring home about. Why does one figure need free glasses? Is Bib Fortuna an alcoholic? And what a one guy, he's a body now, I'm not doing the job Ants on a postcard, people. What I really would have wanted to see is a bit of a heart back to the original Kenner figure, but Hasbro seems incredibly cowardice to do fun accessories like that. You know, anything that pertains to looking outside the box. They can't do it, apparently. But there we go. Um, we get free glasses. Creative. Again, it's I don't want to wail on the figure because it's, it's nice. It's a nice figure as it is. But just options, Hasbro. Options. Give me options. In terms of articulation, he has a ball joint head and the neck, so he can't really far down and really far up. He has ball jointed shoulders, ball jointed elbows, ball jointed wrists, ball jointed torso, uh, ball jointed hips, swivels at the tops of the thighs, door hinged knees, ball jointed ankles with the rocker joints. Again, you're not really going to get too much posability because this whole thing here is plastic. Yeah, it's. By no means, not a bad figure. I just wish, I wish Hasbro would just think of the, the fun side of things, you know. Have a bit of fun with the line. Include some accessories that hark back to other things. I know it's Black Series, I know it's meant to be accurate to the film and things like that. But you can, you can have a bit of fun. You can have a tiny bit of fun and just throw some accessories in 
that hark back to other toy lines and products that have come before that, yeah, while you don't see on screen in the films, they're just a bit of nostalgia tickle. A bit of nostalgia tickle is what I like. And this guy would have been a cool opportunity for that, just to include that weird staff, even if it was oversized. Three glasses, though, for one character. I'd understand it a little more if we had more Cantina or Jabba's Palace enzymes. The figure itself is lovely. That's, that's the main thing. It is a pretty basic figgy, but basic doesn't have to be boring. You know, you can still be accurate and have fun. I do somewhat recommend it. I can see this guy going deep discounted. Um, but because I really wanted a bit of Fortuna, because it's an alien, it's weird, it's funky, I wanted it in my collection. Part of me is left wanting a little bit more in terms of what it could have come with accessory-wise. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Have you picked this guy up? Will you be planning to pick this guy up? Sound off down there. And well, this is me, Daniel East 1000. Sign out, thank you very much for watching.